Hello everybody and welcome back to Ant Holofer. A little bit of a different intro today because I'm unboxing a new package that I have right here. And well, this little studio right here is my normal little recording area for when I record my colonies. But this package right here is so large that, well, I have to have my fiance help recording. And therefore this unboxing will be a little bit different than normal, but maybe you like this more than normal. But this will be my first impressions to the Sim Ants nest I have received. And well, I'm not 100% sure what's inside here, but let's find out. So uh, future me right here, unboxing half the package already. Uh, I forgot to mention that this video is actually a sponsored video. And by that I have been given these products um, to review and unbox. I haven't paid anything myself. I haven't been paid to do it, but I have been given these products for free. So just have that in mind when you're watching this video. Gonna do the old fashioned holofer way and mess up the unboxing probably, but we'll see how that goes. So actually a really good and easy unboxing this right here. Maybe it's just because it's such a large box so you don't have to fiddle around with plastic. And also because there's no queens in here so I'm not really scared that I'm stressing any live prey in here. So yeah. So the first thing I did order was 3 meters of tubing for my Mesa Barbara setup. And that is because I want to change the setup to be a 2 level story. And you know we can actually just turn a little bit. Right here we have, sorry for the mess guys, but right here we have the mesa colony and I do want to make a tube that comes up to the outworld up here. So remaking the setup a little bit. And yeah, of course this Simans product I'm unboxing is where the mesa barbers colony is already living inside. So the first thing we have is this tubing. And the reason I ordered this tubing was first of all, well, because tubing is nice, but also because this is a little bit of a special size tubing. So I had to order it directly from Simans. So we have some very nice plastic. I'm sure the microphone loves this. And I'll throw that away. And then we have these. I think they're for the nest. So of course I haven't uh, unboxed these nests before because I bought them from the Danish ant man who sold, sold the Mesa colony. So I actually haven't unboxed these products before. So seeing all of this in hand is actually quite funny. So here we have some of the corners, the, I don't know, I think it's L corner he calls it. I'm not completely sure, um, but I ordered also to make the setup look even cooler. And then we have the mini nest in here, I think. Let's just give this a little unboxing. So this right here is the little mini nest, the Simans. Uh, I'll, I'll put the correct name on the screen. And then we have this massive nest, which is the same nest as the Mesa Barbers colony is already living in. And right now they have four of these nests. So well this is a fifth expansion and yeah, so fun to see this nest actually being packed in and it's nice for me to finally be able to take a good hard look at how it looks because currently I've just been, well, dealing with a live colony so I can't really just sit and fiddle around so it will be nice for me to get a better understanding of how this system works completely. And lastly we have, wow, a lot of paperwork. What is all of this? So this is a receive together with some German. So we have a little bit of instructions I think. Well this is all in German but I mean there's pictures so I understand what the pictures are saying. But yeah. All of this, this is an introduction to the whole Sim Ants Pro medium nest. I'm guessing this is an introduction, yeah, introduction to the Simans Pro small nest. But I know that online you can find all of this in English. And that is what we have 
inside this massive package. So yeah guys, putting it out, this is what we're unboxing today. And already is unboxing. And again, sorry for this setup, it's not supposed to be zoomed out, it's supposed to be macro. But I don't know if we should just straight away open some of this. So we have this massive syringe that you use to water the setups. And again, from the old owner, I was explained to use around 50 millimeters per week to the colony, so it would have the correct humidity inside. That was what he had found out to be the sweet spot. So when I saw that, well, Siemens had these big syringes, I of course ordered one, so it will be a lot easier for me to see 50 milliliters and put it in the nest every week. But then we have all of these feeding dishes and they actually look really cool. I did not know that Siemens had these because, well, I'm new to Siemens, but these are really big. You can put a lot in here and then grab it with your tweezers or whatever to get it out again. So a simple look, but a nice little touch with this. And just a little thing to add. I have a few feeding dishes like this that I can pick up because they don't have this little thing in the middle. But it makes it so much easier when you have the feeding dish in an outworld that you can just take it out. And that is what we had in one of the bags. Then over here. So I'd also just like to mention that this whole package is really well protected with all of this plastic and all this bubble wrap all over the place. So yeah, really looking good. So in here we have... Oh, so these are the connectors, I think. So at least these are the corners. So you can see this tubing fits really good with this. This is really a snug fit and we have all of these different shapes. So we have a turning shape and we have a four-way splitter. Again, really the perfect size for this tubing. I must say really impressive. And then lastly we have this three-way connection. And, and we also have this little U-shape. So voice over me will explain why we use this use shape right here because I've seen some pictures and well voice over me knows a lot more than I do so. So voice over me has seen some pictures but let's just take a look at all the different connections. This is the three-way connector from all the sides. And then we have the X connector. Then we have the good regular corner connector. And lastly the U connector. And this U connector is basically just to go in and out if you don't have that much room. To be honest, I personally can't really see where you use it because every single scenario I have, I would rather use a corner connector. But these are all the connectors, put a little bit apart and if you put it all together it's a really solid build and it just holds up so well. And from the other side you can see how clean it all looks compared to these parts are not supposed to be next to each other. Also there is a flat side so the connector can't roll away. But Holofers, I am so impressed by this 3D quality. Normally I say I don't really know how good quality looks but this quality is just insane because I don't know, I just don't feel like it's the same 3D printing as I see from other stores because this quality is just so smooth and with really small to zero mistakes. And I am a complete fan of all of this. Especially because these connectors are just so solid you feel like you can't even break them, which is perfect in my eyes. <laughs> so again, really crazy with the protection. I'm not even sure what this is, but it's really well packed. <laughs> so really, really crazy packaging. And that's of course a good thing. So to be directly and honest, guys, I actually don't 
quite know what this is, but then again, voice over me will have all the answers. But I'm guessing it's something, it's well, it's definitely some kind of tube hooking system. And well, I was completely correct. This is just a tube hooking system where you can use a different size tubing. So we have this little ventilation port that you can connect to the nest to get some better ventilation, both in the large and the small form. But I think it is time to, I have some more of these, but I'll open them on the side. I'm guessing they are exactly the same as this, just different sizes. So I've now just unboxed this little small pro nest and I'm gonna see how it looks inside now. So we have, I guess that this is some glass protection. Oh, so much to say about this, it's so crazy. Yeah, so this is some pixie glass that you can screw down. So you get these screws to screw down the pixie glass. And beside that we get both the, well the lid you already know, and a red cover. So of course, mesos are the species I'm going to keep in here and mesos are one of the only species, don't quote me on this, that can't see through the red, so for mesa colonies, red don't work. But for all many other ant colonies, it will work. Again, don't quote me because I'm not an expert, but that's what I know so far. So looking at the nest right here, it's how really smart how you can lift this up to hydrate the nest. And of course you don't have to lift it up because, well, you can hydrate it here from this little hydration hole and also on the opposite side on this little hydration hole. And then, well, you have all of this thin, thin mesh here where the humidity will go up and through. And this looks really wild. And that is, of course, the 3D printing. So when I initially got in contact with the Mesobarbara seller, he said that Simans, I didn't know them at the time, but he said that Simans has some of the best, if not the best, 3D printing quality here in Europe. And I can safely say that it is definitely a really, really high quality. Just all the way around, you can't even, you, I of course can see it's 3D printed, but compared to other companies, it is really nicely shaped and well just crazy good looking so i have unboxed a little bit more right in the behind the scenes the big nest and what the big nest is inside completely the same to the small nest but look at how thick this acrylic is that's a really big block of acrylic and i don't know personally i just haven't seen this before but then again it gives it a really solid look So this is just such a massive nest, I almost can't even hold this acrylic. Crazy big. So that's the one side. Oh, it looks so clean in between. So what you then do, as far as I can tell, because, well, I haven't done this before, but you put the acrylic down like this, and well, I'm going to start with the small nest right here. Sorry for all the mess, there's so much crazy stuff. But you take these plates right here and put them like that. And then you screw down the pixie glass. So you actually get five of these. Now, I don't know if it's a mistake. I'll just check the other box. Yeah, so this is how it looks before you put it all over the place. So you do get five of these, even though you only need four of these. So you get an extra if you were to break one of them. So I'm just gonna see, we have different screw sizes and I'll have to check the manual to use the correct size. Because well, we don't want to use the wrong size screws. Also, with the nest, we have these small pluggers that you of course just put in here. So I've looked into the screw system and I'm of course going to ask Simans if I'm understanding this correctly. But we have long screws and short screws. And what you see with the short screws, if you don't drop it, but you can see that the screws goes down this hole, whereas there's a hole up here, and it then goes in here where you have the tube connector, or where the tube is going to connect. So that means, if you want to connect the tube permanently, you put it in here, and then you screw down a screw right here. And well, what better way to show how you screw it down than 
doing it. So that is what I'm going to show right here. So you just take the screw, screw it down after you, of course, have put in the tubing. And well, it just locks into place. Now, I almost felt like it didn't work, so I had to test and well, it was stuck. But of course, from the top, you couldn't really see it hit. So the screw barely hits the little tubing, but it's just enough to completely lock it in place. You can see how little it actually hits. So this is just a millimeter perfect fit for this little screw. And as you can see, you can't even see the screw inside. So it's that precise. And again, I had to test it because I just couldn't believe it. But that's also what indicates that I will now use the long screws to screw down the plexiglass. So I've now screwed down all four screws and well, it works completely as it should. So I also connected these stoppers because well, currently this is just going to be an empty little box. But this is how it looks with the little ventilation stopper that you can have. So of course you can just take this off and take on the stopper once again. Or you can make it open if you want it to be open. But yeah, this is the small nest. I'm going to go over and assemble the medium nest over here and go into voiceover mode. And voiceover mode is now activated. And hello first, we are starting by taking a look at the Simane's small nest. And as you can see, this is how the red filter looks. And if you take that off, you have a very nice look at the nest inside. So something I was actually really surprised of was these letters. I thought it was some kind of iron or something before I took my macro lens and could see it was just 3D printing. But it was so good looking that I thought it was something else just because, well, I haven't seen such a good quality before. And just all the way around the lid, it's crazy how detailed these 3D printers are. But I look around the nest, we can of course see the watering holes I talked a little bit about earlier. Why you have this one hole on the left side and on the right side you also have this little water hole for putting water in. Now you may think how does this system work? Well you have to put cotton or something that can suck up the water in here to get the humidity to stay up for longer. What's really nice about this is if this cotton or whatever you have inside starts to mold you can lift the entire nest just be a little bit careful but then you can take out the cotton and put in some new cotton and that is of course to prevent the mold. Also these feet that it stands on are a really nice detail that I actually don't think I have ever seen on an ant nest before now, at least not a bought ant nest. Correct me if I'm wrong. But also just looking at this crazy mesh we have, it's just so crazy to see how it's been stuck on the nest and I don't know, I am a complete fan of just how this whole nest looks. It is just so perfect to look at. As you can see on the left side we have the thin mesh where the humidity will come up and rise around the nest and well then the ants can decide whether they want to stay on the left side where there's the most humid which is now the upper part or down below where there's a lot more dry. But this thin mesh is just crazy man. I haven't seen mesh like this before. It is such a thin mesh and just the whole 3D printing around it is just crazy. I don't know if you can hear it hollow first, but I am pretty impressed by the quality of this nest. Just a general look around. When I'm watching these clips, I keep thinking what is it this reminds me of? And then I noticed this really looks like plaster, but it's not plaster, it's 3D printing and that is just, yeah, I am really impressed by just the amount of details this 3D printer have made for this crazy look good looking nest. And taking a look at the medium nest, we once again of course have the red plastic and taking that away we have the inside of the nest. Now this nest is definitely a lot more detailed with a lot more chambers but of course this nest is also a lot bigger. But let's once again take a look around the nest. We of course have the hydration system once again. This time we have two holes on the left side 
and two holes on the right side and that is so you have four different places to water the cotton you have inside and this also helps prevent mold now you may be thinking what is this i have on the top or wherever this is and that is actually the heat cable mount so you take your heat cable and put it through these holes back and forward and back again as far as i know this works with every heat cable out there but I'm personally using Simane's own heat cable to heat up my nest. But yeah, just so much is going on inside this nest. And just showing again, this is the underside of the nest and this is where you have the cotton. But there's just so much going on all around the nest. So these connectors right here are actually interchangeable. You just need to take off the plexiglass and you can put in another connector. There's a few connectors and you can just swap them out if you feel like that is something you want to do. But also something I'm noticing while I'm sitting here and looking at the video, there are so many small elevation changes all over the nest, which is just a lot more natural for the ants. You can also get a few different versions of the inside of these nests, but I prefer the natural look. And yeah, Hullifers, that has been it for this video. As you can see in the video, I am just so impressed by the quality of the Siemens products and just, yeah, a really amazing brand and I would recommend all of you if you want to get a large nest that you go to them because, well, it's some really good products. I should also mention, I said it a little bit before, but all the nest interior designs, you can swap it out with a few different nest types if you want a more straight nest instead of this natural nest. You can also get some wild one. But I should also say, all the systems around Simans are really not confusing, but you have to understand them when you're going into the website for the first time. Because there's a lot of different things you can choose and do you want this, do you want this? And well, I found it very confusing at first until I started reading the descriptions, because there is guides to everything to give you a better idea of what's going on. And it's just really nice that you can just customize the product so much that you have to have a guide to see how to choose the nest and well it's of course a little bit confusing at first but i think it's really cool that you can decide what you want and what you don't want in the nest of course these things can also be changed depending on what you are changing but if you want the nest pods to be one thing you can change it later on by removing the glass and just removing it and changing it to a new one but else hollifers that has been it for this video so don't forget to like and subscribe all of you and check out Simmons, link in the description, and I'll see all of you in another video.